Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive? Always. All right. You know how we usually geek out about the latest tech and gadgets? Well, get ready for a different kind of buzz because today we're diving headfirst into the world of crypto and politics. An interesting combo. What's got you so fired up? Well, we keep hearing from our listeners that they're kind of freaked out about how crypto is becoming this like political hot potato. You know? Yeah, I get that. It's definitely not just about Bitcoin's price anymore. Exactly. We're talking regulations, campaigns, the whole shebang. Yeah. And it seems like this time around, it's not just about the tech itself. It's about who's in charge of it. You hit the nail on the head. Just a few years ago, crypto was barely a blip on the political radar. I mean, remember when... Yeah, when Trump called Bitcoin a scam? Wild, right. Exactly. Fast forward to now, and... Both parties are practically tripping over themselves to make pro-crypto statements. It's a sign of just how much influence the industry has gained. For real. Okay, so speaking of influence, two major crypto events just wrapped up. Permissionless the third and Ripple Swell. And guess what everyone was buzzing about? Regulation. Bingo. Well, that and the 2024 election. Makes sense. This election is going to have huge implications for the crypto world. Absolutely. But what's interesting is that Everyone at these events seemed way more fired up about the congressional races than the presidential election. That's because, ultimately, Congress is where the real power lies. They're the ones who write the rules, the ones who can make or break the industry with a single bill. So it's like, who cares who's driving the car if you don't know what the speed limit is or if you're even allowed on that road? Exactly. And this whole shift from the sidelines to center stage has been fascinating to watch, hasn't it? Totally. And it's not just about abstract concepts anymore. We're talking real world implications for anyone who owns, uses or even just thinks about crypto. Think about stable coins, for example, or DeFi. Right, like how easy it'll be to use them or if we'll even be allowed to. Yeah, exactly. These regulations will directly affect how we interact with crypto in our daily lives. It's like everyone in the crypto world just woke up and realized, hold on, this election actually matters to us. I think you're right. And this quote from Lauren Believe, Ripple's head of U.S. public policy, really sums it up. Every single panel is talking about regulations. So to switch flipped, right? Totally. We've moved past the point of simply advocating for adoption. Now it's about shaping the rules of the game. And that's where the 2024 election comes in. It's not just about picking a president anymore. It's about choosing the people who will be writing the rule book for crypto for years to come. Exactly. It's about electing people who understand this technology, its potential benefits, and yes, its potential risks as well. Because let's face it, going completely hands off, could be a disaster waiting to happen. Absolutely. The Wild West might sound romantic, but it's also a recipe for scams, market manipulation, and a whole lot of chaos. Which is exactly what we don't want. Right. We need sensible regulation that encourages innovation while protecting investors and ensuring the stability of the market. And that's why this quote from Jason Allegrante, Fireblock's head of legal and compliance, really resonated with me. Hmm. I think that's why people are now being much more vocal about what the potential impact of this election is. It's like people are finally connecting the dots between who they vote for and what happens to their crypto investments. It's not just some abstract political game anymore. This is about your money, your future in this space. And what's really interesting is that this issue is becoming increasingly bipartisan. Yeah, it's not a left or right thing anymore. Both Democrats and Republicans are recognizing the economic potential of crypto, the jobs it can create, the innovation it can drive. Exactly. And with more first-time candidates who actually understand this technology entering the race, it feels like the stakes have never been higher. Kristen Smith, CEO of the Blockchain Association, put it perfectly. The most educated Congress we've ever had on crypto. Now that's a statement. Right. It shows how far we've come. And how much further we still have to go. Okay, so we've established that crypto is a major factor in this election and that the next Congress could be the most crypto savvy yet. But what does that actually mean for the future of regulation? Let's unpack that right after this. So we were just talking about how this upcoming election could have a huge impact on the world of crypto, especially when it comes to regulations. It's like everyone's on the edge of their seats waiting to see what happens, you know? I know, right? It's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. But, you know, while we can't predict the future, we can definitely explore some possibilities based on what we know about the current political climate and the different stances on crypto. Like, let's imagine for a second that the Republicans sweep the election. They take the House, the Senate, the presidency. The trifecta. Exactly. Yeah. What do you think happens then? 
Well, if we go by what we've seen and heard, it'll probably mean a more hands-off approach to regulation. You know, kind of a let crypto be crypto mentality. Right, exactly. Less red tape, more freedom to innovate. The idea being to step back and let the crypto industry flourish without too much government interference. Sounds good in theory, but... But there's always a but, right? Always. And this is a big one. Less regulation also means less protection for investors, yeah. less oversight, potentially more opportunities for, shall we say, less than scrupulous activities to thrive. So it's a trade-off. More freedom, but also more risk. Exactly. Remember those Wild West analogies we were throwing around earlier? This is what that could look like in reality. A free-for-all where the potential for both massive gains and devastating losses skyrockets. High risk, high reward. A classic crypto story. Isn't it? But, okay, now let's flip the script. What if the Democrats maintain control? What then? Well, in that case, we're more likely to see a cautious, measured approach. Think. Regulations focused on consumer protection, market stability, that sort of thing. More guardrails, so to speak. Precisely. It might slow down the pace of innovation a bit in the short term, but it could also make the crypto market more appealing to traditional investors who've been hesitant to jump in because of, you know, the volatility. So it's like building a strong foundation before you start adding floors to the skyscraper. Exactly. You've got to make sure it can withstand the earthquakes, right? And here's where things get really interesting. Remember those prediction markets we talked about? Yeah, where people can actually bet on the election. Exactly. Well, Kalshi, one of the big ones, currently gives the Republicans a 42% chance of pulling off that clean sweep. So less than a coin toss, basically. Pretty much. Which means, as of right now, it's still anyone's game. And that, my friend, makes predicting the future of crypto regulation just a tad bit difficult. More like trying to predict the weather three months out. Right. Too many variables, too much uncertainty. But hey, that's part of what makes this whole thing so exciting, don't you think? It definitely keeps things interesting. So we've got these two potential scenarios. A more hands-off approach with a Republican win or a more regulated landscape with a Democrat victory. But there's another layer to this we haven't even touched on yet. Which is? The candidates themselves. And that's where things get really interesting. So we've talked about these two broad scenarios, a more hands-off approach versus a more regulated one. But you're right. It's not as simple as just Republicans versus Democrats, is it? Nope, not at all. I mean, we're talking about individual people here, each with their own unique understanding of crypto and their own vision for its future. Exactly. So for our listeners who are like, OK, I get it. This election is important. But what do I actually need to pay attention to? Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? I'd say... Look beyond those party labels. Don't just assume you know how someone feels about crypto based on whether there's an R or a D next to their name. Do your research. Exactly. Go beyond the headlines. Check out their websites. See if they've actually said anything about crypto. And I'm not just talking about generic crypto is the future. Sound bites. Right. Like look for specifics. Exactly. What are their stances on things like stablecoin regulations, DeFi oversight, how crypto should be taxed? These are the details that will actually affect how you, as a crypto user, can operate in this space. So it's about understanding the nuances, the specifics of their positions, not just the broad strokes. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to reach out to them directly. Send an email, make a phone call, let them know that you're a crypto user, that this issue matters to you, and that you're paying attention to where they stand. It's your chance to hold them accountable, right? Exactly. Because at the end of the day, they work for you. Okay, so we've covered a ton of ground today. We've explored how crypto is becoming a major political force, how this upcoming U.S. election could shape its future, and most importantly, what you can do to navigate this evolving landscape. It's a lot to digest. It really is. Yeah. But this is just the beginning of the conversation, right? Oh, absolutely. This is an ongoing dialogue, and it's more important than ever to stay informed, to stay engaged, and to make your voice heard. The future of crypto is being written right now, and you're a part of that story. And on that note, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think this election will be a turning point for crypto? How are you planning to engage with the political process? Head over to our website, hit us up on social media. Let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, stay curious, deep divers.